So, I'm going to give you a quick instruction about how to create a low-poly object out of a high-poly object. Copy the high-poly object and move it to the next layer. On this layer, we are going to delete all the polygons we do not need for the low-poly version. So, first of all, these polygons down here are really unnecessary, because we will bake the textures from the high-poly object to the low-poly, and we really do not need these stripes. Same goes for the polygons up here. I'm gonna increase the radio speed for some steps now, so you don't have to wait for too long. Unfortunately, I do not know a way to speed up the whole process, so you are just gonna have to work through it. The thing is, that in order to achieve the closest result to the high poly object possible with the low poly object, you need to delete it manually and don't remodel the whole object. Otherwise, it won't fit the shape of the high poly object well enough, which will make the transition visible later on, if you're using it as a level of detail object. So unfortunately, we just need to go through this now, even though it's really annoying sometimes. I'd be thrilled to hear your ideas on how to speed up the process. You can decide yourself how much detail you want to delete. It depends on what you want to achieve with your object. I'm speeding this up so it won't take too long. So now there's the thing. With the new Blender version, Zygel's got its own baking functions. But I haven't tested them so far, so we will need the Blender internal renderer to bake the textures. First of all, check the edge split modifier. We need to increase the split angle to get rid of these edged shapes over here. Now bring up the UV image editor and apply some seams for the unwrapping. I'll just do this very roughly because it doesn't matter too much. Choose smart UV project and here we go. Please excuse the small cut. That's the textured high poly object I created earlier. Now switch to Blender Render to use the baking options. Create a new map and save it. Select the high poly first, then select the low poly and choose textures in the baking options. Now just click bake and watch it render. And that's it. A nice low poly object with the detailed textures of the high poly object. I hope this tutorial has been useful, feel free to ask if you have any questions.